Oh my god! Oh my... Wait, it's got like a third person over the shoulder perspective? Wow, that's a lot of juggle. What? I know what you're thinking. Stinks, you get excited about new games a lot. And yeah, I'll be... I'll be the first to admit that I'm a pretty easygoing guy that sees new games and can't wait to play them because the alternative is kind of crappy, hating every new game that gets announced. I'd rather compare and criticize games after I have dedicated an adequate amount of time to them. This is a mindset that I have personally that allows for me to, for the most part, objectively try out and cover every new game on the horizon. With you know, a, a few exceptions, of course. Today, Fellow Moon was brought to my attention. This is an absolutely stunning turn-based anime RPG that was first revealed back in November 2022, I believe, and covered by a variety of different content creators that I know. But new footage was just released, the pre-registration for their brand new test phase is open, and open until March 23rd, tomorrow so you absolutely need to pre-register if you're at all interested in participating their test phase begins officially on march 30th but we'll touch on that in just a moment because more importantly i want to thank all of our incredible patrons over on patreon your guys' support is invaluable and I genuinely and wholeheartedly appreciate it. Also, if you have a moment, consider following me over on Twitch. I stream there every weekend. So Fellow Moon or Crescent Moonwalker, I'm not really sure which of the two names is going to end up ultimately being the official name, is currently in pre-registration. There are 328,722 players that have currently pre-registered for the game. Now the pre-registration period began on March 17th and runs through March 23rd, which means you have less than, probably less than 24 hours to go ahead and pre-register for this game. I will include a link to the pre-registration page down in the comment section in the description below. All you need to do is click the button that's in Chinese there, navigate on over to which of the platforms you're gonna be playing, the phone number, the verification code to get to your phone number, and that's it, you're pre-registered. Now, as I noted at the beginning, the test period itself is gonna begin on March 30th and run through April 3rd. So it's gonna be a several day long test phase that begins at 11 a.m. and ends at 6 p.m. It looks as though the winners will be selected on March 24th. I don't know if we're gonna receive confirmation via email or confirmation via our phone, but along with various information, there were two official trailers revealed for the game. And just like, I, I just wanna point out their, their landing page for their website looks phenomenal. A lot of these characters are absolutely gorgeous. I know you probably can't see the two characters at the top right there, but dude, you're missing out. Now, it looks like, dude, she is really cute. She actually kind of reminds me of a Street Fighter character along with her stance. So these are... These are just some of the characters. There are gonna be a lot more than what is listed here. And uh, and I'm, I'm genuinely curious. This, this to me feels a lot like, and I know some of you are gonna see this, but holy crap. But I feel like this very strongly reminds me character wise and setting wise of Path to Nowhere. Like, like a, an amalgamation between Path to Nowhere and Street Fighter. That's what this looks like, based purely off of this very dark setting and the characters. I don't know, maybe I'm the only one that's seen that, but there is a variety of artwork, official artwork for the game, but I feel like, yeah, this is gonna take forever to load. It's probably not, oh, well this one we actually need to take a look at because there are a lot more characters displayed here than before, but, so, okay, you know what, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take a look at the two trailers first. For some reason, this does not really seem to be loading for me right now. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the page, I guess. Oh, no, there it is. There we go. A 
Well, this is admittedly a very promising start. <laughs> it does look as though, however, Tap Tap has both trailers officially uploaded. So we're gonna go ahead, I guess, and take a look via Tap Tap. Since the official website is just not loading at all. This looks really good. So we the dude with the cowboy hat? Oh my god, this is gorgeous. The setting, the, the aesthetic, the... Oh my god! Dude, this looks like a very narrative-driven game, but at the same time, like... Holy crap, it's like you're watching a... Almost like you're watching a movie, like a... Dude, this needs, absolutely needs either a Japanese or an English dub, 100% hands down. If it's gonna be as narrative rich as I think it's gonna be, we're gonna need one. And here is, I believe, a gameplay trailer. This is their most recent, most complete trailer footage. Oh my. Wait, it's got like a third person over the shoulder perspective. Wow, that's a lot of juggle. So there's no, there's no like chibi graphical style at all. They, they have actually fully developed character models. Holy crap. You can move around with your character, walk around and... This is genuinely one of the best looking... In terms of graphics, the best looking in terms of graphics, gotcha games I've seen of this specific kind. What? <laughs> what was that? I don't even really know what to think after watching that trailer. The gameplay looks phenomenal. Like, hands down, this game... Oh my god, I I don't think I've been this impressed by a brand new upcoming gotcha game as I am in a while. Like, I think Wuthering Waves and Honkai Star Rail both look incredible. I think there are plenty of really good looking gotcha games out there. But man, this right here, this is, this is 100% left me speechless. I am beyond excited. I'm gonna go ahead and pre-register if I can. I don't know, maybe the studio will see that I'm covering this and they'll reach out to me and give me direct access to it. Who knows, unlike they don't really have much of a relationship with overseas studios. Either way, if you have not pre-registered, I urge you to go ahead and pre-register because this is a test phase of a game you're probably not gonna wanna miss out on. Now, if this game is not a gotcha game that you're at all interested in, then absolutely no problem. I got you covered with two different videos on screen right now. One, featuring a list of every confirmed gotcha game releasing this month. These are games that you definitely need to try out. The other, a confirmed gotcha game entering closed beta testing globally in the very near future. Also a game you need to check out.